Good baby. Yo. Oh, holy sh Chad's going insane. Um, boom, boom, boom. Uh, we are live. That's wild. Are we Bro, live? this is a this is a this is a blessing, man. Oh shit, no, we're live. Yeah, we're live. We're live we're here. Li we're live, we're live, we're live on Bradley. We're gonna do a podcast live. Um, bro, um, I just wanna say so last time we talked, we did a pod, like how how many months ago was that? Well, not one. That one didn't count as a pod. That one, bro, I think three years ago, bro. Two years ago. Yeah, two Steve years ago. Steve Old Yeah, at, at his house. I think that was, yeah, bro. Was, so but I guess my first question is like, what what's happened since then? Because since then till now, you haven't done anything. And then now you're just like, you're here. Yeah. Like fully here. Well, I had the girlfriend, ex-girlfriend. And then, we. Uh, I don't know. I was just trying to make a comeback to YouTube or I don't know what the fuck I was doing, bro. I just didn't believe in myself. Um what did I do? So bro? I feel like YouTube? I wasted I wasted my two years, two years, yeah, two years of my life. I don't know. I broke dude, she was oh, my biggest thing was the World Cup. I was going to the World Cup. I was like, I'm gonna show everybody back at the World Cup. Yeah. And I went to Qatar and I streaked the quarterfinals barely. And then the finals they caught me um through AI cameras. I made fake passports to go to to get into the World Cup and stuff. So cause they already had you banned. Yeah, and then as soon as the bro yeah. So I walked in with a bro. I, I lived in Qatar for a month <laughs> to go do that. Yes, bro. I went to Bali, and then in Qatar, they said FIFA wants visas to go to Qatar, and I'm like, and it has to get approved by FIFA. I was like, there's no way I'm gonna get a visa to Qatar. Right. So I went pre before the date that the visa is supposed to be active to yeah. be there. I was like, what the f am I doing? I can't live here for this long. No, no, no. I think. How yeah. did you sustain yourself there? It's like, bro every day in a hotel room nothing just dude it was but like so how did you pay for that because like weren't you down bad at that point no i was no i was down bad but i, I invested all my my last money into the world cup tickets i think i had like 20 grand yeah. 25 grand and the tickets were 20 grand yeah. and i bought it and then when that shit down didn't happen bro my life was over bro i started crying and i was like there's no coming back bro this is crazy so what did you think you were going to do at that point me i don't know me and my girlfriend kind of cried <laughs> and then we were splitting up our relationship was pretty getting bad then i flew to miami she flew back to england and then she met me that was new year's that was december 2022 go yeah and um then we met up again in miami anyways i started doing facebook videos i uploaded a facebook video can i can i eat you out <laughs> i came back actually to you i did come back to youtube and my first video was can i eat you out i got like 200,000 views, bro. And I was like, let me upload this on Facebook. I uploaded it on Facebook and I made 10K in one day. I'm like, why? From the I, same video. Yeah, I'm like, why am I complaining about money? Just start grinding and working. Yeah. And then as soon as I started that video, got sexually restricted, demonetized for 90 days. On Facebook? Yeah. yeah. yeah it is like, God, it is like, it's like it's one after another. But we broke up and then I had my own condo in Miami and I was just grinding. I did that wig video. And stuff i couldn't bro my biggest thing i couldn't find a team that i can trust man that's what it was sure, yeah. i'll tell you i know all about that yeah um the filmers were just like just you know they didn't take me seriously i say be ready at 1 p.m and they were like ready yeah. at 3 p.m and just all that thing bothered me and stuff and then i think i got lost in the sauce just hanging out with girls and stuff and i was like i'm gonna make a comeback i'm gonna make a comeback i'm gonna say but the time's flying so fast then i'm like what the f i wasted almost 2000, all 2023 yeah so then so how did you find kick like how like because obviously it's a it's a way different playing field than youtube i've like been uh, trying to live stream since 2020. um i wanted to be on gamble on stake so you know the funny story is i bought my computer i built it in like 2020 my friends helped me it took me like six months to put it all together to build confidence I like i cannot be a live streamer this is like yeah. different you know desktop i was like i don't know even how to do this obs bull it's still complicated for me and I go on Twitch, I go live, playing steak with my own money, um, playing, you know, and um, what happened? You had to get banned. Uh, no, no, I went on Twitch and the and the whole chat is going, bro, what are you doing? What are you doing? Didn't you read Twitch rules? Yeah, the new TOS. And, and I go, go on Twitch, Twitter, and it's just, the day I went live, they banned gambling. <laughs> well, I don't know, they, it's weird, they didn't necessarily ban gambling, they banned steak. 
Oh, really? Yeah, because they're still gambling on their site. They still have slots. You could still gamble. It's just like you can't use stake. Really? Yeah. It's a whole, there's a whole deep thing in it where it's like, I mean, they're still doing sports betting. There's still actual gambling. You can, you, you can go into like a certain section and still gamble. It's just like they, they do not want stake on there. They don't want Rubin on there. But there's other sites who do essentially the same thing and use the same exact like back end that you can still do there as long as you're not in the that. US. I thought it was gambling. But anyways, I tried to play Counter-Strike after that and then people were like, fuck you, man, I can't hear well, out of the left ear. Uh, the game is not coming out. I'm like, this shit. Yeah. I turned off the computer. That was my live stream. So what made year. you feel like you were gonna, like what made you come back to this in the way that you're back at it now? To be honest, I'll probably say I saw Fushi doing it. Dude, I, you know it's so funny? I was gonna say uh, that, but uh, I'm yeah. glad you said it. No, I'm gonna be honest. Well, I'm gonna yeah. lie. I, I wanted to do, I wanted to be on kick. And I wanted to do it, and I was like, okay, I see, well, I see what's happening. And I was like, let me build a team together. And I have Anthony, I have Luke, and Anthony literally flew from LA. I haven't, we've been working for two months now. I haven't yeah. paid him a dime. He just grinds with me carrying this backpack. Shout out to you, brother. You believe in me, and you're going to get a big bag for that. Because a lot of people that didn't believe in me are texting me right now. I see you everywhere, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. I'm like, why the f had your chance? Yeah. I was like, Tr just trust in the vision. It's tough, man. It's tough how things go. Um, it's it's and it's also kind of it's like because you've been such a massive creator on so many platforms for so long and then having to accept like you know all your downfalls the mistakes the shit you made to come back and to like grind your way up does does like having the same sort of views or like because we were talking a little bit in that little interview yeah. that we did do you ever stress because like i understand like dude i used to get more views on youtube i used to get more views here more views there do you ever let like that get to you? Of course, every day. Yeah. Every day I'm struggling with this. And it's not like about struggling, oh, I don't get as many views because my last three streams, I probably went more viral than I ever did on YouTube. Yeah. Even though, you know, we held, the, we caught a pedophile yesterday, two days ago, three pedophiles. I was holding 26,000 live viewers and I heard that's insane for a live viewing, you know? Yeah. I'm used to 20 million views and stuff, but yeah. It's just but how do you think, so how do you think you got those viewers? Not, not because obviously... The pedophile stuff, I, I heard you say that, and I was like, wait, you actually did that? I want to go do it with yeah. you. I'd love to do it. We mm -hmm. should do a bit. But how do you think you got the viewers on kick so how did fast? I get the viewers on kick so fast? Well, number one, I have the name. Number two, probably from your event. Yeah. 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 And the neon. Yeah, but even if I didn't with neon, it would just took longer. I'd still you know be at those views. You know what's funny about So Because like, I, I saw a clip where like someone was saying how like, Oh, Neon gets like 10,000 live viewers. I don't um, think he gets 10,000 live viewers. I think he gets I think, more. I think 30K. Because when they called out the view botting things, yeah. he went live. He was at 33. There's no way. He ever, it's every time the same number. It's always. And I'm not hating on the guy, bro. If he, got, I'm going to surpass with real numbers him. I don't give a. I don't give a. Like, I don't yeah. care what he else. But he's always at same number. 73 or 75. 73, 70. It's always the same. Yeah. But, you know. But it's, I'm it's coming. <laughs> I'm no, coming yeah, I believe it. I believe and you and you and know, my chat is moving faster. <laughs> really? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. No, his chat's crazy, bro. I don't know, but people yeah. love people love to speculate. Regardless, it doesn't matter. But good for I, him. Yeah. I think it's interesting. Like you my came, daddy's coming. <laughs> you you told me you said you're gonna get two hundred fifty thousand live viewers. Yes, I am. That's insane. I'm gonna get. I, Aiden don't even do that. I, I think uh, he's done that a few times, but not. Aiden like, is Aiden, and there's Vitaly. Vitaly's international. I'm not saying Aiden's not, but bro, come on. You seen my. YouTube yeah. videos. You've seen, no, the example. You've seen the Facebook. But I'm also going to get that not because of my name, because of the things I have planned. I have big plans, like yeah. crazy. Like, yeah. You know, you've always been like, dude, because you're an OG in the social media space. There's no doubt about yeah. that. You've always been the guy that you just do what, like, literally anything. And you know what's funny? And I, I'm not, I'm definitely not talking, but I got to, yeah, go I got to point this out. You know, you, you ask me and you ask Neon in person, like, Sorry. you're good. Okay. You ask him, like, well, what are you known for, right? Yes. And and I understand that, but he's known for similarly kind of how, like the same reason that you're, not not that he did the crazy stunts and the crazy pranks. He did what you did in a, in a completely different way. Which is Not what? giving a like By calling girls fat? By saying random, by saying like he was doing like crazy, like racist, crazy that no one was doing on the internet at the time. Yeah. I don't know, he doesn't do as much now. He does some like desktop stuff and I know he still does what, what he did. But like both you guys do have that in common. As much as like we, you know, anyone can sit here and talk, you guys just don't give up. And I think that's the key to the success right now on the internet. But I think he doesn't give up. He's trying too hard, and I'm just a natural at it.
You didn't like, come on, bro. He was in his diapers when I was streaking the World Cup, climbing <laughs> the know, fucking man. pyramids. You know, it's actually, I've been to jail 14 times because of my videos. I really don't give a f you, you tell Neon to climb a Hollywood sign, you think he's going to climb the Hollywood sign? I don't know. I don't, uh, probably not. But like, yeah. what I'm but saying not, is, yeah, I understand. I'm just saying like the idea, like you didn't give a f for 10 years. Yeah. And it got you here, there, here, all over the place. He, out of one of the newer creators, obviously he's like 19 years old. He came in a time when I think rest of content has been like, I don't want to say boring, but like everyone's been like, oh, I'm kind of afraid to say this. And I've even been in moments where I'm like, can't talk about this, can't talk about that because of the platforms that I live on, YouTube, et cetera, Facebook, this kind of shit. Yeah. But you guys both have that same thing in common. He just did it now. And I think he opened the gates for a lot of people to be like, it, I'm going to come say whatever. And then also the platform itself kick. Yeah. Shout out to Eddie. Shout out to everyone on that team. 100%. Like, percent they're I'm so thankful for bro. They're yeah. they're change. I like this live stream. I do believe is like changing the social media space. You think it's going to be like the next YouTube 2014, probably. I IRL I IRL streaming. I'd hope so. Yeah. I mean, I, it's crazy because like you, you know, moments ago you're like, damn, why don't you do this or that? Like, I want to do some gym streams. I want to do some IRL stuff. But I also know how much work it is. It's so much damn work to yeah. be a live streamer. And so I guess my question on that for you is, you're obviously not afraid of work you've, you've never been afraid of like doing the crazy yeah shit. but how do you find that balance because like fusi had the crazy boom back and then it kind of have this hard time like finding that sort of again yeah. how are you going to create balance in the content so it's like no balance i'm not crazy no balance no balance i'm not crazy like i said shout out to fusi shout out like i hope he's better and stuff i generally and this is not talking shit this is out of the heart because I saw the mirror of me when I was watching his meltdown. That was Adderall, bro. There's no way you can be moving like this without Adderall. There's no way. He was saying the th same things that I was saying to my security guards, to my people, you know? But if he wasn't, then he's a su superhuman. But I, I think, I'm just scared, yeah. I it's like always, I'm gonna have to top my ideas. Yeah. But that's why I have the team to calm me down. You know, my team is sober and everybody's sober and they're making sure I'm sober. And I'm, I checked to them 777 days sober. And I'm not planning to do downfall, drink again, do drugs. But I think what I'm going to do is just, you know, every other day, I think it's healthy, but there's going to be days, but I'm going to be genuine with my people. I'm going to say, chat, I'm burning out. I need a week off. And they're going to yeah. respect me for that. But it's, on YouTube, I would just be gone for three months and think I can come back again. Yeah. It yeah. does not work that way, man. Yeah. I'm just not going to take it for granted. I know what's going to happen if I leave and I cannot do that. So now I'm building a brand. Now I'm this is the greatest comeback in history and I'm never going to take for granted what I had because what I did have in YouTube, I took it for granted. I thought I was the king and I would just upload one video, go viral, drink for a week and come back and then travel the world because I had all the money. But now I know how fast you can lose it. There's no yeah. way this is happening. Again. So how do you make sure you don't take it for granted? Just the people around you? Just the people around me and actually communicating and being vulnerable like being the real me you know talking to people and stuff see i feel i think i was embarrassed maybe back in 2014 i would never in 2014 say i'm broke i would never say i have money i've never say i'm going through things yeah. but i think that's why people respect me more is knowing the story and the real me yeah and what i've been through you know i have no bank accounts right now i'm still showing up every day and grinding and believing in myself do i want to give up absolutely but i want to be the second chance for the people that are struggling right now and watching this that anything is possible that we're all equal i'm just a human just like them and you need to get up every morning and show up and things will happen look yeah. what happened 30 days of me showing up yeah no it's beautiful man and it's, i always find it interesting because like obviously your whole thing is like the villain like the whole the pre the pre-video and everything and i mean how you branded yourself over the last 10 years like yeah. the villain but in that there's still so much good yeah so how do you plan to like anti-hero <laughs> yeah or whatever yeah, you want yeah, yeah however yeah. you phrase no, it yeah. but like how do you how do you plan to because what, the way I look at the streaming world is like, it is just a lot of crazy ass nonsense. So how do you, how do you plan to have a balance with like doing crazy, shit, but also beyond just entertaining and being crazy, adding real value, adding real value, inspiring yeah. people, what you can achieve through believing in yourself. And also if I did, when I do get that kick deal and when I do get that steak deal or when I do have that aid in money, I'll give back, I will travel, I will build schools. You know, I, I have so many plans, you know, going to Indonesia, Bali, just helping people. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of what Steve, what Steve will do. Steve will do it, did it, but hopefully in a bigger way or the same way. Yeah. And, but also just inspiring people, just about staying sober and not giving up. And, you know, there's going to be crazy streams and there's going to be streams where it's going to be hard to hard. Your audience now, like how many of them do you think are brand new and how many do you think are like OGs? 
I actually asked. Should we ask him? I mean, we're yeah, I'm right super now. curious. Okay, ask the chat. Yeah, well, t- chat. You got to tell us, right? You got to tell what's us. What's up, like, chat? We got seven thousand people in here. Oh, that's lit. That's <laughs> on a <laughs> sit down podcast. I'm telling you, bro. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, chat. Well, shout out to Bradley. Thank you for the interview. Um, ch- oh, holy. Sh- they already answered, bro. Just yeah. OG, OG. Yeah, it's like, I, it's like, I wonder what the people here watching right now are like, when is this? Because now you're here, right? Yeah. I wonder if they ever thought you were going to come back. I ask them. That's a great question. Let's talk to them. Yeah. <laughs> Let's take it my, my show. This is my show, bro. I'm just kidding. No, you're good. No, but chat, do you guys think I was going to come back? Did you believe in me? Or? Dude, because I remember I told you on, on the interview question you had with me, I remember at one point I saw you at 11 in Miami, like sh- you were strung out on wow. something. A lot of no's. They yeah. didn't believe in me. Yeah. Well, what now, mother? What now, bro? Yeah, cause yeah. A lot of no's. That's crazy. What's good? They're being real. Because I saw you. I didn't one- believe in myself too. Yeah, bro. I saw you at one point. I literally, I swear to God, I remember. I think I told Steve will do it. I was like, dude, this guy's gonna die. That's I crazy. swear to God, I remember seeing you in the club and was like, he did not look good. When was that? Two thousand. That was before the incident. I think it was right after the incident. Right after sometime or maybe i don't no. think i would no i didn't have, i didn't have any confidence to go to 11. it may have been might have been right before that was 300 milligrams of adderall every day and just how do you not die bro because i remember we i went to thailand with you and dan and you must have ate like so much i ate the most shrooms right there yeah bro yeah I'm over you know here. people still don't believe me that it took 60 grams that day and it's oh. nothing to be proud of you believe that i believe that because i've seen you <laughs> us like it's nothing to be proud on of. an island in thailand well, yeah. with random chicks i'm like give me the biggest bag you <laughs> I, and, you, and I'm sh- like, I like, I love taking mushrooms. I can't take large amounts. I always, even then I took like, just like maybe yeah, one yeah, of those no, chocolates. You guys took a little bit. And you like. I think I brought my own. You definitely I did. think I did bring my we, own. Because he was giving, remember Dan had a little chocolate. Yeah, and I ate raw. I ate raw. Yeah, I took the whole back bro, and ate it. you're. Yeah. You just, I don't know. You're just like a tank, bro. Well, yeah. Some people said like before my friends, when I die, my body definitely needs to be donated to a science lab to see what I made out of. No, yeah. 100%. It's nothing to be proud of. I should have died multiple times from all the drugs that I did and the amounts that I did. Yeah. Yeah. And you were kind of running like gear and you're doing other, stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah. You're, I, it's like, but this is the thing. I'm when sorry, I was, mom. I know you're watching this. I sorry. apologize. And you have nothing to worry about anymore. Uh, there's no way I'm coming back to that. And just know that your son is going to be sober for the rest of his life, no matter, no matter how much money I have. And that's all in the past. And thank you. And I apologize. And I'm sorry for everything. Yeah. I respect it. You, cause you put your body through the ringer, bro. And it's like some people, it always makes me so interest, interested. Cause like some people are just built for stress, like are just built to do shit like that. Cause like I don't think everyone could have done the things that you've done or taken the things that you've taken and still be here to tell about it. Like, yeah. or be functional. Yeah. I would still know how to get directions, how to get, I wouldn't drive, but I would like argue with my other drunk friends. I'd be like, this is how you, I'm like three days, no sleep. I was like, you got to make it right here. You got And I was always right. <laughs> Bro. So, so what, what, what do you think the worst drugs you were doing at that time were? The worst? Maybe like I mean, the amount of Adderall? I get, bro, I was like, okay. oh, nobody ever knows this, but I had three doctors, bro. 180 pills in 20 days of so 30 milligrams. It was crazy. And I would oh, call you're getting sh- pills from different doctors. Three, yeah, three bro, different pharmacies. Fucking, how did you not have a heart attack, dude? I don't know, bro. But uh, but um, the worst drug, I don't know. I never was a downer guy. I never f- with Xanax, never f- on the flights here and there a little bit, but never to get high. Always uppers, you know. Yeah. But I would never wake up, drink. I would never wake up, do a line. Yeah. Never. It's always, oh, you're getting invited to here. If there's alcohol, there's always going to be cocaine. Yeah. Yeah. So I think, but Adderall was, because I think Adderall, yeah. I just, my bank account went up as soon as I started taking Adderall. But it was more and more than I wouldn't feel it. I liked the cracked out feeling. I was like, oh, f- hundred miles. Yeah, bro. Like, how did you I was getting not- done, but it got to the point where I just became lonely and I became, start overthinking everything because your brain thinking a thousand miles an hour. So you yeah. didn't get done. You would just be in the circle of doing the same video, re-editing the same thing. Yeah. It's crazy, bro. I feel so good right now. Bro, I'm, I'm high on life, bro. I'm high on all the love that I'm getting, bro. It's crazy how much love. People still fucking fuck with me and love me. And that's the greatest gift that God can give me, bro. Yeah. So how do we how do we make sure? I feel like I had the same conversation with Fusi almost how, before he like he came in and he's like, no, it won't happen again. How do you make sure like it, the spiral doesn't happen again, though? I know but I kind of said it. But spiral, I never got burned out. I don't know why he means. Let's talk about it. I don't even know why he's crazy. Like, I don't know what's he, what kind of drug, I don't even know what kind of drugs he did. I'm just accusing him of Adderall. I might be wrong, but I, I think know he what legit he was has like mental health issues, like straight up, like real. But do you bi- think it was before YouTube? He always had it I mean, as, since o- a kid? I think he, I think he's actually bipolar and I think he actually 
in, in certain, like, you got to think too, the outside validation of like the internet is not normal. This like life you lived for 10 years of like getting millions of views and getting all this money and all like, you're the That's, first of your kind. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like YouTubers making that much money, having that much attention, having that much power, yeah. complete first of its kind. Him as well. He was in the same sort of like era. Yeah. So imagine your whole entire twenties where you're like, this is my worth is people thinking I'm good and me getting likes and me getting views and me having all this attention and then losing it and then trying to get it back and then losing but it. But then he lost it and then he became the king of kick, right? That's what yeah. people said. Yeah. That shouldn't be that your natural high that you're on top but of But that's again? how I know he has a real problem because I've had conversations with him way off, like completely off camera. And there's no like, there's no moments where I'm talking to him. I'm like, uh, like you don't have it. Like he, he has a real issue. Bro, Fusi, bro. Give me a call, bro. Let's do a duo. I'll help you. I feel like we're going through, the, we were going through the same things, but I'd never, I don't know how, he seems dark, right? I'm not dark because I would never kill myself. I will, I'm not suicidal. Was there days? Yeah, but I knew that's just thoughts in my head. I feel worthless and I feel like this, but I want to be an example to people. Like, I'm not going to go out as what happened to me in 2020, bro. No, bro. My yeah. history, that's not how my chapter in my book is going to end. My book is going to end. Like this guy was a superhuman and he was the most inspiring man to ever live. That's what I wanted my story to be. I love it, man. I, I respect the f out of it. Yeah. Big time, dude. So yeah. what's your relationship with Aiden like? Cause you, 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 I know you went I don't to know, that. We're just talking back and forth, but he's like, like a little teasy. Well, we're going to collab. We're going to collab. Yeah. Well, what's my collab, Aiden? I deserve the collab. That's how I feel about the pod, but it's okay. I've talked to Aiden. I've talked oh, to yeah, Top. He's, he's I'm going to set the pod yeah, up. Yeah. I'm going to fly out there and do it. But um, he's a busy, I mean, he's also in a space where like everyone wants his attention. Everyone yeah. wants it. Cause he's the guy, he's still yeah. that guy. But the, the, the thing I was going to bring up was like, you went and did the whole, like you were going to box Bryce, didn't box Bryce. Did you, you had that plan to leave? Was that Aiden's plan for you to leave? No, absolutely not. Okay. Absolutely not. That was my plan. Cause, cause then I, he was like, I saw him texting. So I'm not going to betray Aiden and uh, I'm not going to betray a Aiden and Aiden loyals and SSB gang. Yeah, you know, yeah. no, it wasn't Aiden's plan. I swear okay. to God, it was not. You it was my, it was my plan. It was me and my team, my teams and I plan to do this because we know how to get to the top and how to use this drama to get to the top, and that's yeah. what we've been doing. And yeah, people used me for ten years. Now these mother gonna be used and abused by me, <laughs> by Daddy Vitali. <laughs> yeah. I respect it. I mean, it's it it is a part of the game. Yeah, it is for sure a part of the game. Yeah, and um, it's a crazy game. It's kind of cool that I, like you know I'm evolving from pranks and like me. I was so scared to upload these videos on YouTube of me like with neon and stuff, and the comments are like, "Oh my God, like you're yeah. back. This is great." I thought people were gonna be like, "What is this dog?" Like yeah. you know, people like want to see pranks and. I guess this is evolving and it makes me uh, becoming a more of a personality now. So yeah. that's what's cool. I always wanted to do that where I can just, you know, like right now, bro, we're holding 10K. Bro. And insane. talking, like just talking about your life, man. Yeah, it's insane. It's, it's beautiful. But that's the thing. Like, I think a lot of creators get too caught up in it just having to be crazy all the time. Yeah. That they forget that there are real moments where like this, you can really build a connection with the people who are watching you. Yeah. To a way different level by just it not being as crazy and yeah. them getting to know you for who you really are. Because... A lot of these kids and all these people watching, they'll watch, yeah, because they like the viral shit, and yeah, because they want to see you do something crazy, and they want to see the drama, but I think a lot of them, when they see who you really are as a person, they start to go like, oh shit, maybe I can do this too, because I relate to these things he said, or maybe I was here where he was, and you create hope for a lot of people to be like, oh, I, I could probably do this too, because a lot of people nowadays are thinking like, oh, I want to be a social media influencer. Yeah. So on that question, right now, knowing what you know, what you've known for the last you know, 10 years of making content yeah. and now here in the space, kind of like brand new all over again on a new platform. What do you think it takes for someone to be truly successful now uh, in, in today's like social media era? Um, definitely consistency. That's number one, believing in yourself. Um, you know, like I said, I used to be on Craigslist looking for acting jobs. Like I was reading Terminator monologues, trying to get an acting job at like Motel You want Craigslist looking for... Job. Before, of course, I wanted to be an actor. I wanted to be famous all my life, so bad. And I would just walk into this like mer like a Motel Six looking hotel, and they would laugh at me, and I would shake, <laughs> say my monologue, and it start, start sweating. Uh, so definitely believing yourself, and you know, it's not an easy road, but if you never give up, if you never give up, it, you're definitely gonna be on top. Why did you? Why did you always? Why do you think you always wanted to be like famous or be an actor? I think the Terminator move. That's why I did the Terminator monologue after Terminator Two, bro. I wanted to be like Arnold. You saw Arnold. You're like, Fuck yeah, it. Arnold. I'll be back. Yeah. So. <laughs> you're I always. Was, I was with to Gun Toys jumping over my bed. And 
Like mom, you know, I never wanted to go to college and no offense to people that are in school right now. It's for robots. It's a waste of time. I agree. If people are studying, like, you know, if you're in business school, why is your business professor doesn't have his own business? Because, you know, they don't know. You know, there's just, it's slavery, slavery, bro. It's, it's modern day slavery. Oh, man, there's so much. Shit and I feel topic. bad because so many people are in school. They're probably like, well, the, but guess what? Drop out right now. Well, I don't give. So yeah, I, I I'd rather be a waiter for the rest but of my life are, than be in school. Are, listen, my only, my own, cause I fully agree with you, but the only caveat I would say is if you're in school and it's helping you figure out maybe what you want to do, cause a lot of people don't know exactly what they want to do or what lane they want to be in. Okay. Yeah, so school not is, everybody wants to be an influencer. You're right. Yeah. So school is a good benefit, not just for that, but also because you're in a space where other people are like trying to figure themselves out and maybe just do conversation or, you know, relationship. You go, Oh, th maybe this is for me. So that's the best thing about school. No. What about YouTube? You can learn everything in YouTube. That's true. When I have my old partner the over, I'm not going to say any names. He learned e-commerce. He, he, learn e-commerce you know and so fast you know and he started making me 20k a day through my pussy magnet glasses that i was selling it yeah and you know all from youtube so i feel like education is on youtube now yeah i guess partners you over huh? why what is that supposed to mean why just you used to that oh yeah oh let's nice. talk about that well you came in here and you brought it up yeah i brought it up guys this guy bradley hooked me up with these young la guys to do my merch those guys how how long ago that was uh that was like 2019 2019 yeah. Yeah. yeah and why i'm saying those guys because they didn't believe in me and look at me now i went to yeah they did my merch and i like sold three four shirts like this is not gonna work out i'm like bro rome wasn't built overnight like yeah. let's do different designs and they think they, they're saying i still own a money bro they're sending me invoices that's funny they owe me a lot of money it's really? funny yeah so well, they, they don't can, they, 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 they the owe difference. tax they i remember at one point we we when we split there was a bunch of taxes and they just were like yeah you could pay that and it was like but it was based on their profits that they made from working for me yeah i mean these guys did me dirty for eight years it just it hit me when we split and they go oh yeah okay and i'm looking at i'm like looking at like checking kind of stuff like where could i be taken of here yeah. where you know in reality i was taken of the whole time because it was like oh we're gonna make this shirt for you and then we're gonna we're gonna make these four for us and we're gonna use your order quantity to get a better mm -hmm. pricing and then I brought people like you, Fusi Tube, Nelk, Lord DIY, Alex Wasabi, Larry Wheels, Dom Mazzetti. I brought all these people because we made another business together. Mm -hmm. And they leverage all this like order quantity so that they have these. And imagine at the end of the day, after all that, they go, yo, these are our manufacturers. Like I was there giving these manufacturers numbers all these years and they're yours. And then they let all these people run their mouth about me for time and then the minute i say something it's like i'm the bad guy and i'm the wrong one in the wrong and it's like you guys took advantage of me for eight years leverage mm -hmm. what i did in the same space like because imagine if you made that sweater and like let's say i was doing your back end and that sweater didn't sell good but i ordered like fifty thousand dollars worth of that i'd be like okay we're in the same space selling it that didn't do well for you i won't sell that over here but this does well for me so i'll just keep selling this over here and not sell it over there that's crazy because they were on the back end all that advantage and then when their little athletes could run their mouth about me for clout and for more views because I was still re still relevant in like the space, they did it to undermine me to make themselves look good. So I've been used and abused by those people excessively. That's insane. And, and it's crazy because like, <laughs> it's just, it, I just don't understand where people like forget, like did they forget that they came from this like little hole in the wall and Noga Park reselling Converse I don't know how you can, li you can live with somebody over I don't so think, badly i don't think those people care about that i think they only think about financial gain and they go it's just business but yeah. it's like with well, this i sat down i'm eating dinner with you and your family and all of a sudden it's like yeah when you needed me and i was helping you and i put all these people in your wheelhouse and i introduced you to chris bumps and i introduced you to all these people Clifford lennox larry like all these people that you leverage for your own benefit yeah and then you steal my customer list you download and i'm like i have a screenshot of them downloading my customer list to their warehouse thing and what like you just share customer no you don't then where how come i didn't get you didn't give me your you just took yeah. took 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 Wait, is, isn't there something legally you can do about it i'm like i'm all the about losses my, now. no yeah yeah, yeah. no, no my, but it's because it's so big and it's documented so. my problem was just, in the beginning i didn't have a contract because i didn't uh, think i didn't think that they would like me, take advantage you're, of you're me a good guy it's like we don't need contracts because i know i'm never anybody over so it's like and so that's my my biggest problem was thinking that because i'm not gonna you that they wouldn't me yeah and then all that advantage and then they let these people run their mouth and then, then then i'm the bad guy yo brad's the bad guy like bro shut you just don't want to accept the fact that you did me dirty for years for f years and i had people telling me and i'm like oh no i remember i had a conversation with a dude i was training this guy at a point and he was a he was a uh i don't even i don't even want to bring that up that's up. 
I don't even want to bring that up. It's just, I'm not even going to disrespect them that way, but it is what it is. I just feel like, I just, I'm, I'm honestly more than anything, like hurt. Cause it's like, dude, you, you guys got so much from me. And then when you had the chance, you let these people run their mouth to, to leverage yourself higher. And it's yeah. just like, you couldn't just take what you took and then be like, all right, we're good. You're good. It's like, nah, let me on this guy some more so I can like create more brand awareness or more leverage for us. So we look like good. And I, yeah, it's just, and so like, obviously you're not, that's nothing new to you. Like yeah. you being taken advantage bro, of. Bro, I just got half a million dollars stolen from me. I never told you the weed story. How? Bro, not just now, like four or five years ago, I gave my homeboy half a million dollars. Bro, I got to tell you, sorry, but go ahead. Yeah, for, for weed. Like, yo, let's grow weed together. Let's go 50-50. You buy, you buy the house. You buy the house that I'm living in because he was renting it in Mendocino. This is a crazy story. So he's like, let's buy a house. You buy the house. House like 720, put 120K in it, and let's go 50 50. And the wheat farm is gonna cost for eight greenhouses 150K. I go and I buy the house, then I buy, give him 150K. Like a month later, bro, we need more money, Corona, blah, blah, blah. Give me 60 G's more. You're already 150K in. You're like, all right. Yeah. And the return's supposed to be crazy. Yeah, yeah. Like, I don't wanna get into it, but whatever. End up giving him $420,000, bro. God damn. For him just to me over for it he grew the wheat never sold it people said it was dog <laughs> and the worst come part about it it's all over the news is that it was my house so i said bro i need to sell my house like i need to get out of debt like i need to sell this house he goes no this is my house and his name he never signed anything it was my house everything was under me so i was like you know what i had this guy i called him he was like my manager assistant he lives in doesn't matter where he lives so i called him i was like bro i need you to go there, put everything in the storage, his shit, and just yeah. leave the truck and you hold it, tell him. And he, I was like, but he's a gangster, he has guns, like be careful. He goes, I'm gonna bring my goons, bro. You, we're good, we're good. What the he fuck? goes there to the house, packs it. That guy the over, watches through security cameras that they're packing his house. He, show, he shows up and meets my guy at a restaurant, like there's one or two restaurants, whatever, it doesn't matter. He immediately punches him straight in the face the the my boy and my boy calls me he's like oh he just and he leaves he just he just punched me in the face he's like what should i do like i was like bro you gotta press charges this guy like this and this i was like what happened to your goons oh they weren't there then what happens he calls the cops and the cops took and then he goes back to the house to finish the job and that mother the over comes with a truck full of people with guns bro what the to the house while the goons they're uh the, by gangsters and the same time the truck pulls up, the cops pull up. So he he was holding the gun to his head. He's like, I'm gonna kill you right now. The cops pull up from an hour and a half phone call and they just run in the flee in the bushes. It's all over online. It's on the news, bro. What the Yeah, so bro, can you believe it? That hurts, bro. Yeah. And people are like, bro, every day you're gonna make so much money, cash with me, blah, blah, blah. We're gonna flip it. This is gonna be a great business, bro. And uh, yeah, and I'm not here you. to complain. That was my last straw. I don't trust anybody bro bro you're i don't trust telling me you know what's funny about that exact story we business before i had any money this is back in like i don't even know like this is your i don't business. even know yeah i mean we got yeah. there's a little, little, this CBD, a little yeah a little gym <laughs> weed but dude we have there was a point where i had probably twenty thousand dollars to my name yeah okay this is years and years ago first money i ever really made yeah i was training a client and this guy, he was in the weed business. This is why it's so funny you brought that up. It's way less than $500,000. I give this guy $15,000. I have maybe like $6,000 left in my bank account. Go, I remember I go to the chase, I take the money, I give him the money, cash. cash. <laughs> Dummy, right? Yeah. So I was training this guy. He probably paid me for like the training. I'm almost like, this guy got his money back for the training, like by me. Probably paid me like a couple thousand dollars for the training, for the course that I had trained him. He goes, yo, I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna flip it and give you like, like twenty twenty thousand dollars back, so I was gonna make like five six thousand dollars on top okay. of my money, right? And I was like, oh cool, and I I trust him because I had a relationship with him for some time. How long was the time he said the return was gonna be? <sighs> it was gonna he was gonna go up. He was gonna go up to like somewhere in Northern California, oh, flip it, flip it, come okay, back, it. and come back like a weekend, yeah. right? Bro, this dude takes my money, and I'm like, okay, where? Oh, it's so, he like ignores me for a time, and then I finally get a hold of him. He starts PayPaling me some money, like three hundred dollars here, yeah. three hundred dollars there, and then he just ghosts me. Check this out. And this is why I'm like, why am I such a nice guy? I'm, I'm, I will never be a nice guy to people again like this kind of Two years later, he completely ghosts me. I see this 
Now at this point, I have way more to lose. I have way more money. I've grown, grown on social. Of course. I see literally in this public. guy goes to me. I see this guy at a bar on PCH in Santa Monica. Holy shit. I walk in with my buddy Mike, Mike at the time, the, the Dom Bro Science guy. I walk in and this guy's sitting right here. And I go up to him. I'm like, I grab him. Oh, I say, shit. come outside with me. You're going to give me my <laughs> money. It's hard probably drop. He, bro, imagine you haven't seen me for two years. You yeah. robbed me. You know you robbed me. I grab him. I take him to his, I said, take me to your car. Take him to, take him to his car. I take out his wallet. I still have a picture of his ID in my phone. Yeah. And I'm like, I, I want to beat the f out of this then guy. You would lose everything. Of course, and I would lose everything. So much already. I'd point. lose everything. So he ended up like giving me some money there. And then he PayPal me like a few more times again. Never heard from him again, but bro, it sucked. Wait, because you let him go. Exactly. You, you didn't let him. She, she should PayPal you everything right there. And then, Oh, I don't have it. I'm working. It's same. Story. At least he still did more. He a little bit, but like, yeah, like all, my other option was beat the f out of him yeah. and leave, and I couldn't do it. I was like, I'm gonna now, I'm just gonna f my life up for for like this f dickhead yeah. who f over. But it, I just remember at that time when I was younger, it was like it was everything to me because like I had just started making money, and he basically stole like all of it. Yeah, and so yeah, man, I'm not I'm not at all new to be f over, and then the social media, like you just have so many. Sh Sharky, what about snaky. the Italian censor? Did you hear that story? No. When I first uh, started, with, actually called me the guy from I called him the guy from from the basement. He's good, but he introduced me to this Miami scammer that he's gonna you know help me build the site and everything. And launching the Italian censor, I made two hundred thousand dollars in the weekend. And this guy, he had this bank system, whatever for nudity content and stuff like that. And he never sent me the money, bro. He made two hundred k. So. He, he okay he made 200k i kept saying yo send me the money wire me the money he would write me out checks he's like it's why it's coming tomorrow it's coming tomorrow it's coming tomorrow then he ships me a check and i'm dude it's a month he says the wire's coming i'm having problems and i believe that i was such a gullible good hearted so he sends me an actual check for 200k i go to the bank it bounces back so then i post on my story hey this guy me over blah 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 he sues me for defamation. I open my Instagram and it says, bro, he sold me a fake Rolex, da, da, da. This guy's biggest Miami scammer. We go to court. I win $1.6 million, bro. And the guy nowhere to be found. Because he's in, in state of Florida. If you send somebody for a fraudulent, fraudulent check, it's three times his pay. So he sent me three checks that are bounced back. So, so you bro, didn't get anything. I didn't get anything. I won 1.6. I paid my lawyer for 75K and to win this case. And I don't know. I, look, they're collecting money for me. I need to. I need to hit up the debt collector. What's up? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's it's weird how it's always like, dude, just always, bro. It's just always getting fuck. Yeah, I don't trust anybody, bro. I'm so mean now to people. I don't blame you. Like, not mean. You know what I mean, bro? Just yeah, like, no, Everybody wants it, to work with me. I'm like, this guy wants to do my apparel. I'm like, you gotta fuck over. I just tell him, <laughs> yeah, yeah. just tell him straight up. Yeah, like, it's like, <laughs> yeah. yeah so, it's crazy. I don't know how it's, much it's I can a, hold this for you. Yeah. It's a. Sh it's a place to be in too because like i've i've gotten to a point now at least in my business where i've found the right people it just took going through like the shadiest most terrible people that i've ever gone through in my yeah. life well i know i know anthony and luke is good right because they're working I mean, for free that's, that's how you know that's good people that's yeah that's rare bro that's, and like people like that i'm deserve. blessed I, pr I prayed for this bro thank you anthony versus like paying for people paying people jesus What's you that? guys should make out, dude. Yeah, no, you, I'm kidding. You, you, you want to go viral? No, 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 no. Three some? No. Three bro. guys, one couch? No. Which is so okay. This is funny. <laughs> do they know about your porn? What porn? Didn't you do like in a, didn't you do like some in a Bangladesh? Yeah. Of course they. What the, are you trying to like? No, I, no, bro. I, I, I gotta ask no, the question. Wait, of course they know, bro. Okay, okay. Who doesn't well, know that, some, bro? There's probably some people now who are like, yo, we didn't know about that. Oh, really? You, you, it's, you know what's funny? I'm going to do Redemption, Bang Bus Redemption. <laughs> with, <laughs> what, what? With the same actress, bro, 10 years later. Oh, that would be so funny. And you know what I want to do now in the live stream? You know, I have a, you know, I blew up the Bang Bus in 2020. Yeah, the real, but yeah, blew up the bang bus. So now they have the new bang bus. How funny is this live stream? I get the real bang bus again. I drive around Miami. I pick up dudes to f girl, whatever, porn star. And then they get in. I question them. They get blindfolded. And then it's a dude like Jason Love or Men Dean. You know? <laughs> <laughs> What's the life? Yeah. Bait bus prank. Bro. Gold, dude, right? You're f what sort of things do you have planned for the streams? Like that's one. That's that's. I think that's hilarious. Dad, I have that for the stream. Um, Anthony's mom, also, we want to take her. She needs a new set of teeth. I want to get her a new set of teeth for yeah. Anthony's mom. Like uh, like veneers? Yeah, veneers. Yeah. That, I want to do the... 
we have a whole bunch of collabs lined up in Miami, like yeah, whatever, you know, everybody in the space. And then honestly, once we get the bag, you just, dude, I want to do like Vice, like go to Colombia, go yeah. see how they grow cocaine and stuff, you know? <sighs> like, like, like Fuck. cartel, like bro, get a mask on, be like with cartel, you know? So, You're not I, afraid of anything? No, I'm not. I don't know if he's going to survive that. He, he, you know, Anthony, that's what we're going to do. And I'm sorry, but I want to do some like, bro, like what, what is that island where there's cannibals? Oh, I don't know. There's a cannibal. There's an actual cannibal yeah, island. Yeah, there's that a exists? cannibal island. So, I don't know. Chat, what's the island called? You guys know? We're like, Ooh. but it's funny. Like, I, I just, I saw the thing with you and you and Neon and your phone. They, they grabbed your phone, <laughs> bro. Did, yo, did you, yo, t tell the truth. Tell the truth. Um, zoom out. The people are saying zoom out, brother. I don't know why they tell the truth. When you were, uh, we'll tell the truth. Oh. Yeah, no, no. It's good. It's not crazy. No, no. When oh, you, when, oh, what? Uh, uh, no, not Epstein. Island, bro. No, no, no. Sen not, Sentinel not. Island. Sentinel Island. Like, I want to do that. That's a real cannibal island. Yeah, like, they will eat you. Well, they're not going to just eat you. No, like, no, they will. They don't like you have throw... to be, like, dead? Yeah, but I don't know how to get there, but that's, like, life goals. But anyways, I want to... I want to. That's, guess... like, life goals. <laughs> yeah, that's just funny. No one ever said <laughs> that. I want to go to a cannibal island. That's a life goal. <laughs> yeah. That does sound, like, yeah. interesting. I mean, I finger my like, on top of pyramids, bro. Jesus. This is a lot of life goal. Jesus completed, Christ. bro. Dreams come true if you believe in them. Bro, All right, what were you sorry, saying? Sorry, sorry, you threw me off. Okay. Yo, so t tell the truth. So when you were, yes, sir. when you and Neon were like, you guys were, because I watched this and I was reacting to it live. Which one, the boxing or the first one? The Your boxing, gym. at the boxing. Oh, his gods. You guys were really Oh, heated. bro. I Because I, I saw that and I was like, I know both these guys, both of them are heated. Yeah. Like you, you were, you look, you guys both look actually Bro, heated. he's nothing but a Lion barking chihuahua. I mean, he's dude. not gonna. He, you're not gonna fight. Obviously, you know he can't I have, fight. I, you know, he didn't have any security. I would never. But I would never have security. So I, yeah. I'm planning never having security. Is that yeah. dangerous? Probably. Probably at some point. Yeah. I mean, yeah. we did when we catch the pedo. That was my first hater in real life. Pulled up. He goes, "Go yourself, Vitaly." Oh, did you know that when we ca caught the first pedophile, he got away. The whole warm. I was on top of him, bro. I wrestled this guy. This was the, yesterday? This was two days ago. Walmart, days the ago. Walmart. Let him go. Let him go. They let the pedophile go. Who they the f was saying let him go? Walmart, bro. Oh, and they then, probably didn't know what was going on. No, we're trying to explain him. He's a child predator. He was 40. We came to meet a 13-year-old boy. And oh, everyone should be beating his ass. Yes. See? Everyone should but be no, kicking his wanna, No, Eddie would not like that. So oh, I, okay. I, I did. I dry humped him. I was like, you oh, want to fuck? Let's go, oh, motherfucker. And then the second guy ripped his pants. So I was like, you want to fuck? Let's go. Yeah. And then the third guy made him get on his knees and apologize to my beautiful chat, my loyal chat, my villains. I'm just enjoying hanging out with you guys. We have, it's actually raining outside, so I wouldn't know where to go. So I hope you guys enjoy hanging out with us. What are you doing after this? What's the <sighs> no plans. What do you want to do? Oh, I dude. You got to make up. Like, you you, you, you got to make up, bro. You actually got me kind of worried now. About what? About what you're going to do. Oh, bro. <laughs> You're dealing with a professional, bro. If if your gym is not there tomorrow, no, bro. No, 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 if you're, no, 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 no. If I'm driving, if I'm gonna drive a truck through your gym, no, I'm no, gonna, no, no. no. You think I'm kidding too, bro? Don't do I don't that. give a fuck, bro. Don't do that, dude. I'll be number. Bro, anything else? Be, anything else? Dude, sue me for what? Negative no. million dollars? What are you gonna get out of me, bro? The only thing you can do is kill me. I'm gonna drive a <laughs> truck through your gym. No, don't do yeah, that, bro. Don't do that. Mm. Don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Double yeah. your idea. <laughs> Oh my god, bro! bro uh, I want to ask you about the pyramid. Uh, oh, I actually know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do what I wanted to do for the long time to Brad, and I was scared because I don't know how angry he's gonna get. But now I'm not. I don't care. Get ready. <laughs> it's coming. I already have the idea. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm gonna do when you're there next time you're at the gym. He's gonna love it. It's kind of like driving the truck, but like halfway. If that makes sense. Ah. Uh, it's okay. What did I do? Like I said to Neo, I want to smash his phone. You me i'll f you harder yeah i know you I know. you dug your own grave i, I thought this was supposed to be a classy bradley martin interview no, not, it is it not is. giving clout to some unknown mexicans <laughs> Dude, like, i know bro what did they do oh my you God. got them from the border <laughs> Yo, stop, stop. <laughs> What's up? i think you're gonna go there and give them chips to nah, try the chips nah i have to deal i hope i don't have to deal with them outside when i come out because i'm not giving them clout we're gonna f sharing no, the camera no, you're, off. you're good you're good oh my um, god let me i deserve a sin Get us in, yeah, get us in. He got one, he got one, he got one. Yeah, six, six hundred G's? Yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. No, 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 you know what, guys? I'm gonna, I'm gonna save you right now. That's how much, how much my chat loves me. Guys, don't spam anymore. Don't spam anymore, Elbrat. Don't, do not spam. You know why? Because we're gonna win. 
what I'm going to prepare for him. I already have that <laughs> that I'm going to do to him, bro. That, let him enjoy his high right now. Let him enjoy no, this I'm little not. little water prank. Yo, chat. I swear to God, what I'm going to do to Brad, the internet's going to explode and it's, oh, it, and, and it's gonna work that's the best part it's not gonna be a prank it's gonna be a humiliation to the ritual oh shit. yeah you gonna make me wear a dress you like the you no, like but that's the humiliation. No, no, it's okay, bro. That's what I'm next time I'm doing the pedophile prank. I'm going to dress up as a girl oh with high God. stockings and a fishnet. I'm like, hey, daddy, Tonisha's <laughs> back. So, guys, don't worry. Yeah, spam some W's. Let's clean up the chat, bro. It's okay. I'm not going to leave. I'm not going to leave. No, 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 no. No, no, no. If, if, yeah, no, no. We're not going to leave. Spam W's, guys, because I'm the villain. I'm going to win. So, thank you. The chat, see? Chat's cleaning up. Let's go, baby. It's okay. Bro, bro, Brad's cut. Bro, it's a war. They want to <laughs> start a war. They want to start a war it's over brad I cannot wait because now when i do what i was gonna do you remember how bad i felt anthony's i feel no. bad i no i feel bad how what is bradley gonna, is he gonna punch me in the face i don't give a f what you're gonna do and how you feel don't give a f i respect i respect that i respect, okay. that. I respect that's it because okay. i actually care now i don't Okay, perfect. It's good. No, I like it. I like it. I like it. So, okay, back on track a little bit. <laughs> yeah, what is YouTube gonna think? All right, anyways, like ah, I can't. I just busted a nut. You sucked me off. I cleaned it. I you cleaned it. Me off. Yeah, we're good. So let's talk about the W's in the chat, but guys. I love you. Let's continue this shit. But let's pretend this never happened. Commercial break. Kick dot com slash Vitaly. Kick dot com slash Vitaly. Follow right now. Sub the fuck. Follow, 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 guys. Let's get it. We're almost at sixty thousand. I love it. I support you too, by the way. Th thank you. Sure. I appreciate it. you. Follow. Um, I do. Oh, well, yeah, thank I do. You. Um, yeah, and I like, I'll, you know, I'll desktop react here. Cool. I watch your stuff for real. Um, and, and that actually, I mean, that's the only way you can go viral. And I was just reacting to my stuff. No, <laughs> <laughs> you. You. you know, what's fuck so funny because half, half of kick would watch my whole pedophile thing for three hours. They, uh, party. What is that called? Watch party. Watch party. Yeah. 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 I, I honestly, I wish you told me you were doing that. I would have done it too. Huh? Cause I'm the King Leech on lit on a uh, kick. Oh well, yeah. King Leech. That's what they call me when I, when I get on. Oh my. That's what I'm they call so it. I'm so high right now, Brad. I'm not only not only I'm gonna like cement my kingdom in this space. Okay, I'm gonna help you out because how viral are you gonna go, bro? <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> little camera whore. I don't even you care. Whore. I don't even care. Yeah, okay. I, it's cool. like I'm in the space. I'm kind of not. I'm in. I'm yeah, not, yeah. It's, like, it's, like, it's weird, Uncle Bradley. Or? It's weird. That's how old are you again? Fuck, 34, dude. And well, first of all, I have a message for Sam. Her probably like an Arby sandwich. They need to put her in a Ziploc bag and. Drown her in Indian Ocean, and at least she'll be at peace in her can, natural yo, habitat. Can we can we agree though that what? like the I'm fact pressing that, charges? Yes. <laughs> no, 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 no. Mm -hmm. But can we agree that that like as much as like people love to hate on that whole like relationship, it's created a lot of content for a lot of people. It has because your pop like part, like the whole bro. Thing. The, the, yeah, the little bit content. She's she spat on me, bro. Like you know what I did back in the day. Obviously, I wasn't shrooms but come on right imagine i just spit in your face i got mad at this and i spit in your face what would you done you knocked me out i would hit you yeah yeah exactly yeah exactly but she's a female you know yeah she's a female rb sandwich that's what she <laughs> is bro stop, stop. hers like stop, throwing stop, a hot stop, dog stop. in the hallway bro stop. neon is still a virgin bro he stop. didn't feel those walls oh are... you're, 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 you're so, <laughs> like, stop. ridiculous yeah so so let's talk about the pyramid like did you get completely ousted from like that country as a whole? Yeah, you did that I'm blacklisted shit? from Egypt. 100% can never go. Well, I don't know. I got a black stamp, but I wouldn't want to go there, bro. The pyramids are dirty too. Were they? Shout out to all my Egyptians. Because when I did a fan meetup in Egypt in 2016, bro, thousands of people just show up to the hotel lobby, bro. They had to kick, the hotel had to kick me out. It was intercontinental, I think. Yeah. Or like four seasons. I yeah. forgot. But yeah, they're like, yeah, you can host a greed here in the lobby. <laughs> like over at K, 1K people showed up, bro. Started Holy booking shit. rooms to get to me. It was crazy. So no, shout out to Egypt. It's, it's yeah, I mean, bro, I was, that was the like worst five days of my life in jail. It's crazy. Yeah. What is the jail like there? Bro, they're sleeping on top of each other and there's no toilet. So when they piss on the corner of the wall, it leaks down to their faces. I swear to God, but I didn't stay in that. I stayed in like the where the guards jail. So I slept in like bunk bed where the guards protect the pyramid. But there was flies and everything. They would still treat me good, order me chicken kebabs. <laughs> I swear to God, bro. So they treated me nicely, but I did cry every day. And the, the reason I cried because they kept telling me I'm gonna get out every hour next hour for the five days. They're like, okay, you're about to leave, bro. You're about to leave. Oh my God. And there's no computers there, so they were like transporting me in the truck where it's like 
300 people and supposed to only fit like 50, bro. Yeah. All handcuffed people. They're smoking inside a hot box, the prison truck. And you only see this little window in gray and everyone speaks Arabic. And you're like, bro, I can make a movie out of these five days, bro. Have you been in, have you been in jail in other places? Yeah. How many other places have you been in jail at? Brazil, Brazil, Russia, Brazil, Russia, America. Uh, um, um, I guess that's it. Brazil, which, Russia, which was the worst? Egypt. Oh, Egypt, bro. I saw a dead baby. I told you about the story. A dead baby? Yeah. They brought up the last day. They brought a blanket full of blood and there was like bubbles coming out of it. And I was like, is that a street dog or a cat dog? Like, no, that's a newborn baby. The mom just threw off the balcony. We need to make a police report. And I'm like, oh. what? It's, I feel like it's still breathing. There's bubbles. They're like, oh, we need to make a police report first. So yeah, oh, that was pretty fuck. Yeah, no, no. All right, guys, quick and rough for the podcast. Factor meals. Take the guesswork out of the food that you're eating okay factor meals super easy two minute meals you don't have to figure out what you're going to buy for what your meals are they're going to have like meal plans ready for you set you could switch it up it's it's flexible if you want to change your diet there's so many things that make it so much easier for you guys and cheaper i mean at the end of the day like we and i know i've spent so much money on just like trying to eat a certain way and sometimes i'm not the best chef when it comes to certain things and this is a way for you guys to just have everything just done for you, pre-made, save yourself time, save yourself money, save yourself effort on everything. Again, Factor Meals, they got you guys set up. They'll have you set up right based on whatever you want to decide you're getting sent. They have snacks. They got tons of treats. They got everything that you want for your diet. Check it out. Go to factormeals.com slash rawtalk50. Put in code rawtalk50 to get 50% off your first month right now today. Let's get back into this podcast. Where's the best place you've ever traveled? Ah, uh, Switzerland. It's like a fairy tale, bro. In the summer, wow. Before it was Dubai, Dubai is number three on my list. It's now Switzerland, Iceland, Dubai. Bro, I love the nature. Switzerland is insane. It's like the, it looks photoshopped when you drive. It doesn't even like, you yeah. gotta get a scratch. I felt that way about Thailand. Like it felt like, uh, like not, Thailand, not. Shout out to Thailand. You love the lady boys in Thailand, no, don't you? No, bro, Jesus Come Christ. Come on, bro. Holy Just open shit. up, bro. No, it's more about, I'm talking about the scenery of it. Like it looked like a fairy tale. Really? Yeah, like the the jungle well, you need to start you need to start driving more driving more <laughs> <laughs> sorry i'm focused on the chat right now sorry it's my time no you're good go for it it's my show tell them no they're just what do they say they still, <laughs> i don't know they're just like clown questions oh haters now they're haters it's all good it's so crazy how they just flip bro yeah it's fine it's they loved you and now they hate you that's okay it's but 10k that's great right 10k yeah 10k a lot for like guys shout out to all the people seriously from the bottom of my heart guys we caught pedophiles <laughs> Now we're like, you know, a little hanging out with Bradley. I'm having so much fun. <laughs> yeah, you're so funny, dude. You are you are really reckless. I love it. Let me see. Guys, we're calling Fusi. G7, baby. The gay, 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 yes. I'm just kidding. Oh, you FaceTiming? Oh, my God, bro. He's going to see my face. <sighs> yeah. No, nah, it's okay. Should we get naked? No, dude. No, keep your pants Doesn't on. What like the fuck? That? I don't know if he's going to answer. We'll see. Might have to be one of those like texts, call me back. Mm. I know because he just went to Puerto Rico. I don't know if he did the pod or not, but what is he doing in Puerto Rico? I just hang out, bro. He was he was gonna do uh he was gonna do I'll message him. He was gonna do a podcast with um with Jake, but I don't think he did it. Cause I am telling you, I think he genuinely I know we talk about like, yo, he could just do it, but I think he genuinely is like man. I think I could help him, bro. They call me Dr. Vitali. No, I, I talked to him. I saw him. I saw him. He came back. I talked to him already. About me? About you. And yeah. what did he say? This is great. Yeah, I did. Talk. I, I did. I said, I said, like, I said, he, Would he be down or he, he, because he, <clears throat> he wanted to squash and I was like, I'm never squashing with him again. And I think the older, the wiser I got, I think, bro, if me and him collab, not even a collab, bro, if we were to do you, bro, it would be f yeah, breaking the internet. I, I, I we could be the him. next Logan Paul on KSI, bro. Come out with a f energy drink. How to be crackheads like us. What would you call it? Cred? <laughs> <laughs> what the because uh, that was a south park joke uh, um no no i i gen, i mean i talked to him and he's basically just like like i said he he went to puerto rico to go do a pod with jake he didn't even do it pod a podcast oh my god i remember those days where i'll be like i'm going to work i'm gonna fly and i just get up and well no he he just was like i don't think he podcast for the live stream no just just to do the podcast to talk he has a podcast channel now? what he has a podcast jake has a podcast Oh, J oh, Jake invited him on the podcast to do the podcast. And he didn't want to go on. He it. showed up, and he just he doesn't have much to say. I think he he really is in that spot. What spot, bro? I, I'm driving here to you. I feel like I had nothing to say. Do you think that was a great? This has been a great podcast yeah, so far. He talks. He'll go in circles about 
how tough it is. You know what I'm saying? And he knows that. He willing, like, he willing, like, that's well, I it's just, tough for me, bro. I don't know. Help yeah. me. Help me, Brad. No, but you're, but you're it's different. I'm strong, man. right? I'm so my, my mind it's, is stronger. <clears throat> it's different for sure. Yeah. yeah. I feel, I feel for him. I just, like, I just want to ask him personally. I don't think nobody, maybe somebody did ask him a question. What is it that's bothering you? Did you ask that? Or he's just going to say, I don't know, right? Yeah. He literally goes, What is it? Yeah. He is he addicted? He, is it? It's he's on antidepressants. That's what it probably is, bro. America just trying to hook you up. AD, ADHD doesn't exist. This Adderall is just to get people hooked and die. And yeah, medicine. Yeah, bro. Yeah. It's like legal meth. So what is it? I, I think it is what we talked about a little bit earlier. Was like having such like validation from the outside, and then feeling like, oh, like he couldn't, he can't sustain that. Like that guy that was. Do you so think he has wild. a good team around him? <clears throat> like imagine if you woke up every morning, me and him went to the gym, Fusi. I have the ideas, bro. I have unlimited ideas. Come, come on the journey. You can stream it all. Yeah. You can be with me, bro. I, I think, I, I do think you guys should. I can help him, I talk. think. I do think you guys should talk off camera. Like, I, I think you will see. Nah, kind of motherfucker, it's on camera, bro. I need the I mean, views. You could talk. <laughs> nah, my, my show. No, but nah, you I'm could do it on camera. Him. But I genuinely, I would have a conversation off camera so you could really see what I'm talking about. Because it's hard for me to, like, explain it. Cause I'm not him, right? It's hard for me to explain the things that he's saying. Cause I talk to him enough where I'm like, you I talk to him so much where every time I scroll through TikTok, I see you talking to him. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, I, but even off camera, like not what even is on it? TikTok. What does he want to change? It's, I think if I had money right now and all this high from the people loving me again, I think I'll be good, bro. The only thing that bothers me right now is I'm in depth. But that's it. What you just said is it. It's you just said, if you had all this and the, and the people loving you, I think that's he, all I need. It. Yes, but, but he, he has that. People I, love and that's them. what I say to him. But he believes that people love that other version of him that he doesn't feel like he is right now. Which one with that or the, the one that was like crazy peaked out. Like everyone's like, this guy's crazy. Like slap Jack Doherty type. Come to my IRL. I'll be that guy because that's me naturally. Yeah. And you just be. But like I feel like he's going to pull up and feel like he's not <laughs> adding content. He's not adding anything. Yeah. That's where he's at. Like I, I'm all. all side like he because trust me i'm saying the same just show up and do it and he feels as though he wouldn't have anything to say do you know my first stream what it was going to be what it was going to be show up to a mental institution with flowers to that, his yeah that was going to be my first but i was like no one's going to let me inside in, no. you know mental institution so no so but um yeah i don't know bro i feel like i give him props for everything which he's done but i don't know bro i i wish him the best and yeah yeah, I don't know. Well, let's talk about the idea. Let's get away from Fusi a little bit, but yeah. the idea of just like, I guess in the world, and you know, you're not super political, but you're definitely. I, I get the vibe. Excuse me. You are super political. Well, kind of, well, depends what you're gonna ask me. Oh. It, bro. It's, it's this kick. I can talk whatever f vaccine that doesn't work. It kills people, bro. That's right. Biden, give me the citizenship. J.K. LOL, bro. <laughs> this is crazy, bro. Trump. The only thing I regret probably people ask. It's not the the bull but also writing trump sucks in 2016 and nba finals bro do you think i will ever meet trump now because writing that probably nah. not but honestly i was a sheep i was a sheep bro i was following everybody but everybody did hate him in 2016 i think yeah and he was that kind of racist and stuff thing but i also did nba finals po political it was going to be a bigger story but yeah. i think he was the fucking man and if he was in the office right now there would be no worse yeah and it's fact sorry and go ahead no you're good question? yeah but beyond Probably. that i was i was going to be talking about like the mental health of just like the world right now we're like for example i, think, I don't want, i don't know how long i'm gonna live in america yeah that's how bad it's getting yeah like my so the and the, thank you the, to the thank you to america and all the americans and everybody that's watching this for giving me an opportunity you know i would not sh be sh russia or yeah. i was raising ukraine so i'll be in war right now but i do appreciate this country for a lot of opportunities but I don't know, bro. I mean, and if they do fly to Europe, it's going to be an expensive ticket to fly back to your podcast. So I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> it's a weird, it's just a weird time where like people are like soft and people are like pushed to be soft yeah. and like young men are like not, it's, you, you got to do whatever anyone says is good and like yeah. just fall in line and all this. Homeless shit. in Europe. You know, when I flew to Europe the next day and I woke up with a negative million dollars, I survived homeless three weeks in, in Europe. I drove 18 hours, bro. I was supposed to collab with this girl. She was so hot from Amsterdam. I was in Amsterdam and she was in Budapest. It was 18 hours. How are you paying for I'll tell you right now. Yeah, yeah. How did I pay? So we flew. I had $2,000 in my bank account. I was like, I'm going to fly to Europe, collab with this girl. I'm flipping into more money. We fly to, um, we're supposed to go to Hamburg. We fly to Lufthansa to Frankfurt and our layover flight gets canceled. And it's only 45 minutes to Hamburg. So it gets completely canceled. And they go yeah. like, guys, you can't get your bags for... 
for like two or three days. Yeah. And then the guy in Lufthansa goes, Vitaly, I'll give you your bags. Come, come. They give me my bags. I rent the car for one day to drive to Hamburg. And I wake up to a negative million dollars. And guess what I do? My friend was like, I'm going back to LA. Like, I, oh, Miami, I can't do this. I was like, I'm going to show how relentless people can be. I'm going to, I believe in myself. How badly do you want this pussy, Vitaly? I'm going to make it to Budapest. <laughs> hey, so you did all this for some. No, but also show, because that's an example okay, okay. of if you can, you can get the, you can get to with no money. In Even with negative hours. a million. Anyways, three weeks, I'm driving in the stolen car. I'm getting emails. You're wanted by European police. You stole the car. I'm not paying for the car. My credit card's getting declined. So I have the car for three weeks and I drove 18 hours with $13. How? I stopped at the gas stations and I wait till fans recognize me and fill me Holy up. Holy I eat. I stole bread at the gas station. I put ketchup and mustard on it, bro. I have pictures. I ran out of gas in Hungary right before Budapest and almost got robbed by gypsies for my Yeezys. I swear to God, true story, bro. I survived. I, slept, I believe you. I slept in the car for a good amount of time and then people took care of me. And yeah, this Europe was crazy, bro. What was, do you What do you think it is though that makes you so different to be able to? Because because I love people, living life. I don't I don't like what's knowing what's happening tomorrow. I wake up and I'm like, let's get crazy, let's go, bro. Like Europe was so fun, bro. You you know, eleven countries in like what a month or yeah, how long I was there for two months maybe. It was crazy. Have but, you always been that way though? Like, or yeah. is it the, me driving for some was a life example for me that if I can do that, I can do anything. It's so weird. No, is that a bad example? No, you're hilarious dude but it makes sense yeah it makes sense i was like i'm relentless my boy gave up i'm like i can go right now and give up and fly back home or i can make it happen and i make it happen and people like i'm getting emails you're wanted by police stolen car do i give a ha ha my life my rules the villain lifestyle bro your life your choice how badly do you want it that's right I, true dude, story I, I don't fucking cap I, I, never, I never exaggerated my stories not because I'm not even acknowledge the comments like the pyramid people he really stuck go SD cards up his ass. yes I did did I really eat 60 grams of shrooms yes I yeah, did, definitely did. <laughs> like, yeah. you so, thank it, you Brad yeah. Judge Bradley everybody <laughs> well no I've seen you do it though no, yeah, and no. I was eating but I was not eating what you were eating no. bro you that's what I'm saying like it makes sense that you have what you have it makes sense that you are where you are um as far as the debt shit yeah what are you doing to deal with that besides asking people for the money off bro i give <laughs> I you so much it. cloud for asking you for that money that I video has like five million views three hundred thousand likes bro you welcome you really have me feeling like that's kind of like a lit investment well it is and you're not going to do nothing about it you want to no, save your, you want to save yourself from all the l's right now <laughs> give like, me the give cash me the right money. now <laughs> give me the money mother bro no um yeah no i i'm just upset i'm not upset of anybody bro i don't expect money from anybody but i texted all the millionaires and billionaires on my phone about it and it's about even not even getting a no. You just ignore, like, bro. Like yeah. I'm, I'm Russian. We're accept as a no. I don't know if this is American type of. Sh scared to say no. I would. Yeah. I don't expect anything from anybody. And what I'm doing to get out of my debt, showing up every day for free and waiting for that miracle to happen where I'm gonna get some type of money so I can, I can pay it I off. I can think of some ways to help you for real. Oh, okay, bro. They all said that. Too. No, but I can actually uh, do it. Though. Okay, what, well, bro? I can actually do it. We'll, we'll talk about. I'm it. not sucking dick. No, bro. What am I gonna have you suck my dick? What the. I don't know about. what you're up to, bro. Bro, what the bro. What is it? Uh, you want me to clean your gym? No, <laughs> no, no, dude, no. I, I guess I have some other ways, though. Like promoting stuff. Like what is, what, what no, is it? No, Why no. can't we talk on camera about Cause, it? Because it's a, some of it you can't talk Sell about. Sell drugs? It. No. <laughs> Maybe. No, okay. no, no. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh, man. Have you ever sold drugs? No, I never sold no. drugs. No, I could have sold all my Adderall, but I didn't. I ate it. <laughs> bro. I can't believe it. I'm still just surprised. Like you're just you're just so good. resilient, man. Thank you. Appreciate it. resilience. You're great. You're you're honestly a you're like a good story of just crazy resilience in this internet age, man. Yeah. The fact that you're still here, you're still doing it. No, do you think a lot of people would have gave up what I went through? One hundred percent. Okay. Thank you. I would say literally probably all of them, just not you. Yeah. I cannot. And, no way, bro. Yeah. I don't know what I got in me, man. I don't know what I got in me, but I, I got something, bro. And I want to be an example for all the people that are watching. Uh, you know, maybe half of the chat is depressed. I don't know, chat, how do you feel? But Or going through something. We all go through something. Yeah. But, bro, if I could rewind to 2014, 12 days, bro, f bro. I just probably, imagine me how hot, where I would be in my career if I never drank or did alcohol, bro. Shit. See, that's, that's something really important to teach people. 
Yeah. Guys, right. don't do it. I know you guys probably think you're not addicted to cocaine and you're like just going out on a Friday and Saturday and it's like, oh, just one bum, two bums. You're fucking addicted. Just if you can't accept that you're addicted, it means you're an addict. So, yeah. yeah. Damn, man. And I remember Steve O, bro. I remember doing collab with Steve O, bro. And he's like, that was 2000. I don't remember what we were doing collab. And he asked me that question. He was like, are, like, are you addicted to drugs? Blah, blah. I should have said it right there. And then, yeah, bro, I am. And I lied. And I said, no, nah, I'm good. You know, in my head, I'm like, I'm only doing it every weekend. I'm not, I wasn't like him. And yeah. only if I did, I don't know if anything would change, but Steve-O to be my sponsor, that would have been great, bro. But yeah, I think you're right. Steve-O minute... would have helped me, but I was scared to speak out. I think that's what it was, bro. You were scared to say you were addicted? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And now obviously everything's changed. So guys, if you are scared to tell your parents or your loved ones and shit, just trust me, you should do it before it's too late, bro. And honestly, sober is the new flex sober is the flex like people are like oh you, you walk into the room like you don't drink no i don't wow wow before i was scared i would go on the dates with girls and like i feel like they would judge me for not drinking i'm not cool enough and yeah, now i'm not drinking i'm like and every billionaire you meet they don't drink yeah no most nah, of them maybe have like one drink yeah, here I, didn't or there. To, I didn't know how to do that <laughs> you can't no nah. damn yeah i could have one drink and be cool you just had excessive personality almost i guess so yeah would you, uh, you, so you're not, you didn't, you obviously knew the boxing shit with Bryce. Would, and you said you fight on Aiden's card. Yeah. Who would you fight? I don't know. Um, that's good. That's a good question. I, I would fight Modine probably. <laughs> Bro, you, I, he, that key came up to me before when I was doing the stream with Neon at like that house. Oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. And he was yeah. like, yo, do you think I should fight uh, Vitaly? I was like, probably not. Cause I was oh, like, well, how much God. fighting experience do you have? And he's like, none. Oh, I mean, I have only 30 days. You saw how I fight Kristen, but I don't know. It depends how big. I honestly would box you, bro. Box. I would box you, bro. What an MMA? Why? Because you know you're gonna beat my. Ass, bro. <laughs> yeah. Why? Boxing. Why? You don't think you can beat me in boxing, bro? You're not confident enough. That's just, crazy, bro. I Let's think, box. I think I because I want. If to. we bought a misfits or like whatever <laughs> cards, but I yeah, fuck all that. <laughs> no, but yeah, but I, I want to really do it. That's why. What? I want to really fight. I don't want to. Not that boxing is not. It's it's just so, not full. You fighting. have anger issues. Probably. You would just want to rip somebody's hands? Yeah, like I'd, I'd want to jump on top of you. Damn, tonight's UFC. I can't miss that. Bro. I know. You Sean watching it? Duplessis fighting, yeah. Who are you watching, though? Well, Sean. So Sean Strickland and Duplessis fighting. Where are you watching? I'm this? watching here. You want to watch it? You serious? I can hang out with you? Yeah, I don't care. No, for real. I'm dead serious. Are you serious, bro? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck are you doing? Yeah, what are you doing? Yeah, get off me. Yo, how much you weigh right now? Uh, uh, after our conversation, probably 220 because I'm losing weight now. Bro, you were big right, right now. Bro, I know. And I'm not doing anything, bro. 150 cc a week. Yeah, you're. You I'm never got... touching Trent again. That shit no. made me crazy. 300 milligrams of Adderall and Trent, bro. Bro, uh, that... bro, bro, bro. <laughs> my friends texted my mom. I was like, something's wrong with Vitaly. And that's how you know something was bad. Yeah. Bro, somebody would tell me, what's up? I'm like, ah, what the? You're that mad? <laughs> the, I didn't notice. Yeah. But. You, I feel like I didn't know that trend makes you feel like God. Nothing matters. Yeah, it's just, it's too strong. It's so it's just so powerful. Yeah, like you're just it's like it's like steroid on steroids. Yeah, man. It's no, just too but much. shout out to Anthony. You know what he did, bro? What do you do? Because he, I was bothered so much how fat. I love how he's about the action too. Yeah, how I mad? How he's I, about I was it. so I was so mad how chubby I was at at uh, Bryce thing without a shirt. Yeah, like and they're like, oh, you're not fat. You're not fat, bro. This month bought me new shoes new running shoes bro on his own money bro it's a real one that's it bro he bought me new shoes to run he's like this is your motivation so i'm gonna crack him in tomorrow probably at your gym come by you gotta start training for real come by and train what do you mean i do train but, but i don't know what the i'm doing i just i don't know bro i don't know but that's how i like, know how to train i know how to train it's the diet i'm addicted to chocolate bro i'm addicted to chocolate and energy drinks but obviously energy drinks have nothing to do because i'm drinking zero sugar I just love, I feel like I'm going to die if I don't eat chocolate before sleep. <laughs> but seriously, I feel like I'm going to pass out in my sleep and never wake up. That's what goes through my That's brain. That's like a diabetic. Huh? That's like a diabetic. That's, diabetes don't exist. What? Yeah. What do you mean it don't exist? It doesn't exist. Some people are born with that though. Really? Yeah. Some people are type, really? yeah, different types of diabetes. Some people are born with diabetes and they have to like, well, I have a crazy it. story with my mom's ex-boyfriend. So he was diagnosed with diabetes and they prescribed him on the pills. And his diabetes went higher. So he's like, let me do this. He made his own chart and calculated everything he ate and changed his diet. Yeah. And he, well, was, good. Can, he was good. You can definitely fix So maybe I'm, wrong, I'm a little wrong. I'm not a doctor, but I feel like now. Since There's I'm like the, type one, type two. So it depends. Some okay. people are born with it. Well, I'm the king. So I do know everything. <laughs> I'm Dr. Vitali. I'm Mr. King. I'm You're Mr. Villain. I'm everything. You're a fool. No, but man. I'm actually excited. To, sorry for this is ADHD. What I'm excited to watch, bro. 
Yeah. To you buy it or you stream it? Uh, I buy it. I'll buy it. Damn, yeah. that's crazy. I used yeah. to buy them. Then my friends like, you can download from this site. So yeah. yeah. I don't know, I just, Wait, can you, are you allowed to stream the screen of them fighting? Is Eddie mad at that? Because Aiden does it, but that's Aiden, right? I don't know. I mean, do you watch the prelims? Yeah, I'll, I'll watch it all. Yeah, okay, I, cool. I love watching the fighting what are we, stuff. Where are we eating? Pizza, cocktail I'll order sandwich. whatever you want. I'll get whatever you want. What do you mean? Oh, damn. Nah, bro, I'm not using you for free food. I don't care. That's I'm going to give you some money before you leave here, too, by the way. Do I look like a hooker? <laughs> the f is that, bro? I feel like I want to give him some money because he's taking care of you, dude. Fucking him, yes. I'll give him, some, I'll give him some money. And me. <laughs> <laughs> you're f***ing funny. Bro, you're, you're good, dude. Uh, I'm glad you're back, man. Thank you, bro. You're for actually real. genuinely back? Genuinely. See, I had demons in me. I feel like you always hate. No, I hate bro, I feel like I'm hated by everybody. By all I was so scared to walk into your gym, bro. You don't understand. No. But I, I got different type of pool. Everyone's like, that's Vitaly. Oh, that's, that's He's crazy. crazy. He's crazy, yeah. No, it's but good, I never, never had a fan bad encounters, you know. And honestly, after what happened lately... On social media, bro, I never seen so many W's. And you know, this chat will ride or die for me, bro. This chat, bro, I'll ruin somebody's life with my chat. <laughs> if somebody <laughs> me, I'm gonna send them to the house. Chat, oh, chat, go ahead, do your part. That's I no. love my chat, bro. That's I got fun. pedos apologizing to the chat. They're involved in the whole my whole life. They ride or die. You guys are my besties, bro. Did my brothers, bro. Because of you, I'm here showing up every day because how much love you're showing me. So thank you, chat. Do you plan to stream every day? That's I do, bro. This is no budget, Vitaly. Imagine if I had the money that I had in 2014. What I'd be doing right now, bro? I would probably burn down your house and be like, "Here, here's, the, <laughs> here's, the, here's money for the new house." That's my ideas, bro. Dude, you're insane. I no, love it. We gotta stand out. I love it. Believe dude. in your dreams. Burn house. We gotta do another Thailand trip. Yeah, uh, yeah. Actually, yeah. Do you think Dan will? Uh, I'm not scared to call Dan. I'm gonna call him. But should I should I do a collab with Dan? You think he'll, he doesn't f with the social media camera? He Really with much social media at all yeah i gotta yeah. come up with the creative idea yeah. steve will do it wants to do it we keep talking but it doesn't go anywhere tell me this idea for steve hiring hookers and taking them to church <laughs> oh my god that's funny right that's his <laughs> but like what no hiring is that your idea his idea my, that's my yeah. idea hiring hookers and then they show up be like we're taking you to church like wearing hook sure damn then they're just gonna step through and just flat on fire yeah oh <laughs> uh, yeah <laughs> should i tell them about steiny yeah so why, why, why? no so i think yeah so don't tell him the idea oh okay okay i don't think he's okay well i was gonna ask him if he thinks he will do it yeah go ahead yeah yeah okay so so <laughs> i want to be a fake waitress at hooters you think steiny will dress up with me as a hooters outfit with little booty shorts and little tank top and take people's orders hi guys today we're on a special cock meat sandwich I don't know if you do it. Yeah, because we, we need to do a collab, and I'm always thinking creative. I don't want to just hang out and walk around Universal Studios, you know? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you're <laughs> You're dude. Dude, yeah. you're good. You're dialed. Yeah. You're dialed, no, man. bro, I got idea. I got a book, bro. It's you're crazy. Dialed. I got a book of a, a lot of original ideas. And I, honestly, a lot of people copied my bro, and became millionaires. I'm just going to copy it and make it 10 times better. I don't give so a who, who was copying your back in the bro, day? Bro. I don't, I'm not going to call any names, but bro, there's Gold Digger Part 179th on YouTube mm -hmm. right now. Yeah, you did Like do shit that. like you that, bro. All the that. gym pranks. So, oh, do you even live, bro? I can't believe I didn't capitalize on that shirt, bro. That I know. Been a hundred millions of dollars now. Yeah. Right? Somebody owns that now, right? For sure. Dude, it's crazy. Like you It's okay. You live and learn. But my own chocolate, bro, people know how much I love Nutella. When I do fan meetups, people bring Nutella to sign, bro. So I'm going to make my own chocolate now. Natali, bro. Natalie. Yeah. It's actually a good ass name. Thank you. Yeah, bro. that's a good name. Thank you. And instead of the bread on the thing, it's going to be a booty with the butter <laughs> knife. Great ideas, bro. I just need a team, bro. Yeah. They all me, bro. They can't get quick little cash and then they drop me. And then, yeah. That's sad. Yeah, that's the story of this lame ass industry, man. Yeah. For sure. You just got to create your own. Oh, yeah. My bad. And my by bad. the way, guys, uh, yo, Anthony, I'm actually taking Brad. I'm actually going to hang out with Brad and yeah, wa wa watch the. Oh, watch the thing. Yeah. yeah, you can come. You can chill too. Everyone. What do you mean? He better. Yeah, Luke course. is in the car, bro. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Luke, come in. The thing. Come he, here? But he's the behind the scenes. He's a genius, bro. Shout yeah. out to Luke. He's been helping so much. Bro, oh, I never Luke, had a team. I know Luke. Yeah, 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 yeah. No names. Got it. Got it. Got it. But bro, dude, I love my little team, bro. I just want to kiss him. Bro, this guy, bro, bro. This he's guy, like, it is. He <laughs> believed in me, bro. Like I, I drilled through. I How didn't did have you to find him? Huh? How'd you find him? So I had this guy, Danny. Shout out to Danny Lolo. He's a huge filmer, uh, you know, for big brands in Miami and stuff like this. 
And he come, he came out with me to our meeting because I'm looking for a filmer. I was like, bro, I'm trying to do live streaming. You want to film? And he threw me a crazy number a day. And I'm like, I have like hundred dollars in my bank account. I was like, bro, I can't do this. Yeah. But blah, blah, blah. so I didn't kind of tell him that. I was scared. So I was like pushing off, pushing off. And then he connected me to Anthony. And Anthony's like, Are you sure you want to do live streaming? You want to test it out on the phone, maybe? I'm like, this is my way out. I'm gonna live stream. I have the equipment. Yeah. Like I didn't say by the way but anthony kept calling me every day are you ready are you ready and I'm, i don't believe in myself so excuses bro we don't have the cord for and amazon's long? coming for a month for a oh, month shit. every day he was calling me and i was making some types of excuses i'm sorry bro i'm gonna open finesse open up and then i was like what am i doing if i don't start now i'm gonna say just like diet starts tomorrow <laughs> yeah it's gonna it. start in 2026 so i was like bro i'm ready whatever it takes come out he flew on his own budget stayed at his friend's place and we ran it up and i did my first stream it was like a thousand views i'm like this is not working out bro this is like like demons bro but i didn't tell him that because i did believe in myself and i kept pushing and i got the i'm the king of kick man it's crazy Love it's it. not it's not cocky it's confidence it's bro. like when you like came to my gym you're like this is my gym now <laughs> This is yeah, it is, but you don't understand the pool, bro. I, I I thought it like to be a big live streamer, you have to have twenty millions of views, and I didn't understand the power of ten thousand, five thousand live viewers. What it it's, brings, it's crazy. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. I got to shout out to all the mods. Shout out to all the clippers. Do you have bro. clippers? Yeah, clippers. Clippers, bro. Huge. They're the best, bro. And I told them, yeah. I'll throw them a bag and keep clipping, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna take care of everybody, bro. I'm not a greedy person, bro. As soon as I get, you know, feel of some money here, 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 you go. Well, Twitch. Uh, excuse me, Twitch. Um, TikTok. Twitch. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. what, what's up with Twitch uh, CEO saying they're not making any money back? How? Oh, it's a 50 50 split. Do you think Kick is going to buy Twitch? I, I, dude, I, well, Twitch is owned by Amazon. So, like, oh, really? The, I didn't even know that. Yeah. At the end of the day, they can just be like, okay. and they, they've been funding that company, I think, just indefinitely anyway. So it's like, why, why not? Because they yeah. want a live streaming service. Yeah. But <clears throat> as far as like popularity, definitely everything's moving, it seems, towards Kick. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, I can saw the thing you're talking about where it's like, yeah, it doesn't make sense to pay these people this much money. It was almost just like, we can't really compete with what Eddie's doing, basically, because he's giving out bags, you know? No, I, but I don't understand what Twitch is 50-50 partnership. How do they not make money from all the ads? Like, how well, are they, they negative? Or they like, definitely they, make money. So why did they have to lay off so much staff? I have no idea. I well, don't there's say, a rumor that Amazon Kick is going to buy Twitch. Does that mean if Kick buys Twitch, I lose all my followers, or are they going to convert it somehow? Wait, I think if it? if Kick buys Twitch, I think it'll it would probably merge. It would probably merge to Kick. I don't think it would stay Twitch unless they just own it independently and have two separate entities. But yeah. I, I doubt it. But I also don't think that would really happen because because Amazon would have to be like okay, and Amazon is like. Do you think more people are going to hop on Kick? Of course, a hundred percent. So, do you think it's the new evolution of creating 100%, content? hundred yeah. percent. So, I'm jumping in the right time. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Cool. And I think it's still kind of in its. I'm infancy. addicted, bro. I love streaming. Yeah, I love. I, it. I think I it's like, still in its stream. infancy yeah. too. So. It's like because because Kick Kick seems to be like just straight up like Aiden's fan base that he pretty much shifted from Twitch. Yeah. All the way to Kick and XQC. And XQC, now these wreck. people that they keep signing, but it started with Aiden, hundred yeah. percent. So like the the no, core yeah, base is definitely like Aiden's fans, the the loyals, right? And I think like they've really built that platform. And then all the new people come on, like all the OG people who maybe maybe they were still watching some stuff on on uh, on Twitch. Now like you're here on Kick, so they're like, oh, I'm gonna go over there too. And they just it just keeps moving, it gotcha. keeps moving. And then like. I don't know what's, I think, I don't know, it was like the Andrew Tate era of like clipping changes the internet landscape in total, where it was like everything is so clip orientated, where even if like, for example, somebody didn't watch this full podcast, they'd see 10 clips from it and the podcast would still keep a sort of relevancy just because of the clip, the clipping nature. Yeah. So it's, the number one thing you can be doing as like a creator is having a team of clippers. Okay. But team of clippers. But my other question is, is that still building a brand? Because you're in so many different accounts. But your follower, your core followers. I mean, my Instagram is growing like crazy. My Instagram hasn't moved in four years. Now it's moving. Yeah. So I'm very thankful for that. And obviously, live streaming is more than just doing YouTube vlogs, right? They are like your die hard. Like, 100% because they're watching you live. Yeah, because I'm excited to drop my apparel. I got yeah. some crazy designers working on my good, apparel. Man, bro. Good. So I'm definitely evolving. And I'm excited for the future. Bro. I'm excited to see it all, Thanks, man. Thanks, bro. If there's anything I can help besides the fact that we're going to watch some ufc right now 140k brother <laughs> i'm kidding but um no no i'm not but yeah i'm kidding i'm not <laughs> i'm not no, kidding, no, but I'm you not. want to pitch a, you want to catch a better bro you know how many people in line to catch I a better now what are you to. gonna do what are you gonna do i'm i'll 
fucking uh, can i swing on him no that's the problem you can't can i couldn't I even touch him? him i i grabbed him yeah you would be great for the but you know how nervous you know what's my natural high is doing that because it takes so much balls to do that dude you don't know if they have a gun you know there's a live streamer that got shot catching a pedo really yeah Who? i don't know if, i don't know if he was in big or something a few months back i saw an article a streamer or whatever got shot but yeah aiden wants to do it with charleston in miami but aiden runs deep in security so i'm kind of gonna feel safe but still you never know yeah but at least if that happens i died i'll I'm do low. it with you yeah i'll go 100 percent. you could be a great bodyguard i'll go you take know? a bullet you know i got yeah, you dude take a bullet that's crazy I'm uh, proud of you, man. Are for you, real. Thank you. Are you still friends with Nelk? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I was supposed to start doing the podcast again. Yeah. Yeah. Go do the podcast. They got only A-listers, right? I, I was always wondering, not maybe because I wasn't doing it, or do you think they're just too corporate now that Kyle hasn't invited me on the podcast? Not that I'm salty about it. I'm just trying to figure out why. Because, you know, we were like this. Is that because of the situation? We don't tally because what he did, even though I saw Kyle after it. Because of what who Kyle. did? Because of what you did. Yeah. Like, like, oh, that's I why see. I lost my confidence. I don't know who anymore because everybody's like you know who's real anymore who's not you yeah. know i mean steiny salim showed me a lot of love in the gym like a week ago right before i came here so that was cool yeah i got his number we're gonna do a collab with salim steiny responded to my dm so that's good yeah yeah i know they just they focus more on and i'm like, so proud of them too by the way yeah they so. focus more on probably like bigger it's more it seems like more like mainstream type stuff yeah because they don't have any other influencers as like yeah. on the podcast that's what i'm saying so. yeah um I know if you a few more pedos, they will have me on. Maybe if you catch a few more pedos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but it's like, no, because I'm, you know, I'm I'm sh being everywhere right now. Your podcast, we got no jumper. Yeah, hell yeah. We got a lot of things to going on, but. I, I, I think that if you continue what you're doing, like you have. No, nah, bro, my DMs are crazy. But which is crazy, though. Isn't that kind of kind of rub you a little bit the wrong way, though? It's like, oh, now it's cool. Of course. That's what you I'm know? saying, bro. My phone doesn't stop ringing. Yeah. My phone doesn't stop ringing text It's messages. a little bittersweet, huh? They all come back, but I know who was there for me when I was my lowest. So we did a pod. I think we did a pod. You were the first person to invite me on the podcast, bro. So yeah. shout out to that. Let's Thank go, you, baby. brother. Appreciate that. Yeah, that was crazy. That dude, I was like, I pretended to be happy. I was the lowest of my low on that podcast. You, did, you made me think like you were great I was good on that pod. Me. Really? Yeah. I wasn't the lowest of my low because I had a girlfriend. So I feel like I had a protector in a way. Yeah. Like I had somebody to talk to, but bro, I'm lonely, bro. Like if I, before I met Anthony and Luke, Bro, my phone didn't ring once. I didn't know what to do, bro. I just, you know how I spend my most of my time, bro. And people are gonna think this is crazy. When I was driving in my car, ten hours a day in circles around Miami, bro, and thinking how my life is, isn't that crazy? Yeah, it's dark. Listening Damn. to the same music, driving around, and like, oh, look at this girl. Look at this girl. She's never gonna talk to me for what happened, bro. You, you, <sighs> so I'm so happy right now, bro. It's you, so crazy. You did have an issue with thinking that like people were going to judge you based on based on what happened based yeah. on but i signed up to, i never actually never had any luck from bumble or tinder but i did sign up on those apps i actually got seeking a shout out i don't even know you want to give them a shout out but i'm going to say seeking arrangements it was the craziest experience of my life i've never got so much from seeking arrangements but people can be like don't you pay from seeking arrangements i didn't pay i was uh they recognized me i had all my pictures from thailand private jet and uh, everything and they're like, blah, 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 you know, they're talk to me. You know what the first pickup line is? Teach me how to left hook daddy. Teach, bro, teach me how to left hook daddy because of what happened. Girls would write me that, bro. And I was like, I'm set. And then after girls find out, I don't tell them exactly how much I paid because I can't, but I say, what kind of number? They're like, can you knock me out right now? No. <laughs> yeah. And um, <laughs> I, got I, got, I, got, I got banned from that app. I got banned. Slaying too much. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. You want me to tell you what happened? You got banned from I got, slaying too much? Yes, and I'll tell you how. <laughs> fuck, bro. I'm never going to be on that app. That app I can, was tens out of tens, bro. Models every day just coming Shut in. Shut the out. fuck up. Bro, just trust me. <laughs> you, the girls would message me and they're like, you're going to pay me for uh, PPP, pay, oh, PPE on paper meat. I was like, no, I don't pay. Let me chemistry. Let's find out how you are. Maybe I'll bring you on some of the trips, blah, blah, blah. So they meet. Of course, boom, bada, boom, bada, bum. But then I was doing OnlyFans. So I was like, now I got a new tactic. I'm going to, they're going to message me asking me for $500 or $1,000. I'm going to say, no, let me bang you on camera with no face and I'll give you half of the percent of my earnings. And I just start writing this to every girl. And I was like, everybody agreed. And then I got banned, bro. I got banned from that app and I tried to make so many accounts with different names, different credit cards. Hell no. Nah. 
Well, so what kind of money were you making when you doing that OnlyFans? It's pretty good. It's, uh, I'm sorry, shout out to the chat. How, how, and this is not to offend you. How, how many of you are gay? Bro, everyone wants to see me jerk off. Nobody wants to see me. What 90% the fuck? wants to see solo content. Yeah, sh chat. To, shout out to all my gays in the chat. Chat, how many of you are gay? They wanted to see you me, just me, you jerk me, your me. shit. No, they're saying I'm like, gay. Me, me. Hey, yo. I feel like they're trolling. Nah, bro. Nah, they're you trolling. No, chat, seriously. If you're gay, admit it right now. I don't get it. Yeah, or no. No, there's a lot of no's. Me. There's a, I mean, people who fall in through there probably, they're probably, yeah. I right? ask, do you guys want me to do boy and girl or solo? Everyone's like solo, bro. And if I didn't get tattoos, I probably would have gone solo. But honestly, I'm talking to her that I might upload something there. You know, but times are too rough right now, bro. I got a big, why not, bro? Why not? Gay for pay. $20 is $20. <laughs> Dude, you're just like an ultimate savage. Yeah. Nah, no, no more of that. Nah. We're gonna we're gonna evolve into bigger things, bro. We you know we're talking to a lot of brands right now. We're we're taking over, bro. I got you know Aiden's attention was from the first stream, and now after yeah. the pedal, he was like, "What the? Fuck? Vitaly's gonna get the biggest bag." I I'm just gonna pretend like not. I didn't hear anything. I'm just I'm moving forward, and I know God's gonna bless me. I pray three times a day. Jesus yeah. is king. I love it. Yeah, bro. It's been crazy, bro. Me and him pray, bro. Anthony. Crazy. Blessings, bro. After every every stream, before each stream, thankful for the food. Have you, had you always been religious? No, I haven't. Bro. What changed? The situation, bro. Bro, God gave me another chance. You think I'm gonna f up? You know how I'm gonna f up by not be. Even if I just start drinking right now and not f up, but somebody caught me drinking, I ruin my reputation. Not only be, by ruining the reputation, I lose trust. I lose respect to myself. I told myself I will never drink a day in my life again. And if I do it, it's. And I'm already so far in. I'm over two years in why why yeah. start the clock over why it's not worth it but you you look at you you genuinely look at where you're at like you you give glory to god like that absolutely of course bro i have a second chance i don't think i didn't think i would come out of it like my life was over bro like that's it you know how many times i wanted to end it like i said i would never kill myself but dude i was in a dark place bro it's crazy just just i'm building my confidence again and through all the w's in the chat it's definitely helping my confidence bro it's definitely seeing all these viral clips going around and reading bro i read a lot of comments and bro my youtube videos i told you that like, this is new content for me i luke is uploading all my youtube i'm so scared to look at it and he, i was like he's like bro read the comments I was like no bro not even one bad comment it's crazy it's crazy people fuck with me and i'm never gonna let them down so I'm super thankful for everybody. It's crazy. Good, man. Yeah. I'm proud of you for real. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. Let's watch that. some UFC. Let's eat some food. Yeah. Get more water splash on us by Mexicans. No, no, <laughs> no, no, no. All right. Well, um, anything, yeah, anything you want to say to the, the audience here, whatever, like Commercial you. break. Kick.com slash Vitaly, guys. And also, by the way, I saw all your comments on your other podcast. It was a lot of good comments, right? Tons. Like, yeah, yeah. So, and a lot of people came up to me because of your podcast. Like, we love you. We love you. Yeah. Don't worry. So shout out to all my, what do you call him? Bradley Martin. Raw Talk. Huh? Yeah. The raw, just the Raw Talk audience. Shout out to all the chicken legs out there. <laughs> <laughs> no, shout out to all the Raw Talk. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. And thank you. And just, just know there's tunnel. There's tunnel. There's light at the end of the tunnel. And anything is possible. If you just keep working hard and showing up every day because we all go through something and just know that life is worth living your life your choice i'm proud of you man thanks bro appreciate it, bro. Oh, appreciate it. Bro. thank you bro